Well, another Hollywood celebrity is facing a massive backfire today in the most hilarious way possible when he decides to go on this absolutely insane rant about Trump. Because, of course, he is, right? He's trying to get as many people out there to support Kamala as possible. He is begging. He is desperate, just like so many of these celebrities are. And he thought that the thing that would convince you to go support Kamala would be doing one of the most insane rants that we have seen come from a Hollywood celebrity in a very long time. This guy is an absolute wacky. Job. He did this video recently with Will Ferrell where they went around on the street and they asked people to if they were going to vote for Kamala or not. And if they said they were, he gave them a dollar and just turned into this weird, like, uh, hugging session with them and all this type of crap. It was just pure cringe. I'm not going to show you that video today. I'm going to spare you guys from that. But today we're going to be checking out his rant here. In fact, with this video, it turned into another Taylor Swift type of situation where this video that he posted was so insane that it actually drove people in his comments to then support Trump. This is absolutely wild stuff. So let's go ahead and check out his rant, and then we'll get into all of the spicy backfire that he is facing today for this. I'm getting a lot of texts and feeling a lot of people panicking, and then other people saying, no, 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 don't panic, don't panic. And I think those people are wrong. And you can tell these, these celebrities are panicking. They are absolutely freaking out right now because things are not looking too great for Kamala Harris at this moment. Now, of course, that means that we can't be complacent. We have to get out and vote. That is the most important thing for us to do over the next few days is to get out and vote. It is time to f***ing panic, okay? And not just panic, but to do something about it. Because uh, like many people are saying today, the polls are not good. I'm just gonna be blunt. I don't work for the Kamala campaign. I'm just gonna call it like I see it. The polls are not good. Trump has the momentum. The man's a fucking rapist who's been raping and sexually assaulting women his entire life. Not true, not true whatsoever. I mean, he, it, the, the court proceedings don't even say that he's a rapist whatsoever. It's just complete BS coming from weirdos like, like this dude here. Incompetent motherfucker who is mentally disintegrating in front of our eyes and his voters don't seem to care. So Cry. it's going to be up to the rest of us Cry. fucking sane people to save this country, save the economy, save our most vulnerable citizens, working class people, women who don't have access to abortions, LGBTQ folks, anyone with half a fucking brain. The education department, which he wants to completely eliminate. And I don't mean, you know, I don't care. People are going to be like, Billy Eichner's yelling at us to vote. Great. I don't, you can be annoyed at me. Please get involved. He is a danger to the physical safety of American citizens everywhere, not to mention our economy and to our own control over our personal freedoms, what we do with our bodies, what gets taught in schools. Yeah, I think the, the dangerous one here is the one who wants to continue to flood the country with illegal criminals and uh, the one who is good, absolutely going to uh, be the inciting factor of World War III. I think that person is probably a little bit more dangerous than, than Trump. And I am, I can feel that I was out talking to voters yesterday. I did not like the vibe. So please do what you can here. You have to vote, especially if you're in a swing state. Anyway, so you guys get the idea. He just goes on and on and on with all of this uh, nonsense. But Eichner's uh, anti-Trump rant seemed to have the opposite effect he attended. And this shows you that these Hollywood celebrities hate you. And more and more people are waking up to see that. But the most incredible thing about this entire thing is that Elon Musk himself responded, which was absolutely fantastic. And he said they don't even realize how big the loss will be yet. While the actor turned off the ability for social media uh, users to comment on his Instagram post, his followers nonetheless took to other social media platforms to inform the comedian that they will be voting for Trump. Trump it is. Thanks, Billy. One social social media user wrote on TikTok. I agree with Billy. Trump 2024, another wrote. Just voted with this incredible momentum in California, a third disclosed. Has Billy made any comments about the Doug Emhoff slugging a woman story or not? Another inquired on X. Of course he hasn't because, uh, while well, they turned a very convenient blind eye to everything that, you know, Biden has done and Doug Emhoff has done and Tim Walz has done. And you can go on down the list. 
Is it bad that I enjoy watching these people melt down in their delusional rant? Another ass. Seriously, I can watch people like this all day. I think it is some of the best comedy around nowadays, and I do agree with that. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.